My name is Stephen Lowry. I'm the director of the Equity, Gender and Tenure program at C4. Well, the aim of the program is to provide opportunities for Scholars young Indonesian Indonesia. leaders in the forestry, conservation, biodiversity, uh, and private sectors uh, to uh, pursue a master's degree training in the United States. The program's very interesting because it's a master's degree program. It's a resource-based master's degree so that all students are required to, to do a thesis. Uh, but importantly, USAID, the funder of the program, has provided additional funding that enables the students, for instance, to return to Indonesia uh, between their first and second year uh, to do field research in Indonesia on really urgent or current Indonesian problems in the natural resources sector or the forestry sectors. So this is sort of quite unusual uh, to have this kind of added uh, sort of research uh, kind of opportunity. Uh, another aspect of sort of what I call program enrichment uh, due to the generosity of USAID uh, is that the program involves, uh, enables universities to bring their faculty uh, to Indonesia during this period of field research uh, to work with the students uh, in the field and the faculty uh, gain a better understanding of the, of the context within which the students are doing their work. And then thirdly, uh, C4 scientists are assigned to work with uh, each of the students as members of the research committees. And so of course C C4 scientists have tremendous knowledge and experience of the research issues and the environmental issues, the forestry issues in Indonesia. So they add, oh, let's say, further enrich uh, the experience of the, of the students by being on their committees. Ask a, a question or make a comment. I think uh, my name is Jeff Lazar. I am a natural resources officer in uh, the U.S. Agency for International Development, Jakarta, uh, in our environment office. I feel very fortunate to be involved with this program. It's um, I mean, so far, it's been a tremendous success. We have our first cohort. I'm meeting a number of them today. They're coming, coming back, getting ready to conduct their research. Uh, also, some of the members of the second cohort who are just beginning will be heading to the U.S. soon. With uh, USAID, one thing we're always concerned about is sustainability. Sustainability in the sense of our investments. We're always concerned that, uh, you know, if we're investing in some kind of effort, what will happen after USAID's funding ends? And will it still be impact? There still be impacts, and that is something for me is very exciting about this program. I really think it's a really great investment of USAID resources because when I see these very passionate, very bright, uh, energetic uh, young scholars, I think you know USAID. Maybe this you know this program you know eventually will come to an end, but I these people maybe young people. 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 years from now, they will still be positively affecting biodiversity conservation in Indonesia.